Okay, so there's been a new update for the Afata 2. Um, and I thought in this video I'd show you how you do the update for it because I don't think everybody really goes into it. But this whole new update is all to do with now you can use your goggles too and your motion controller. <clears throat> now, please check out Drone Supremacy because he goes into it a little bit more. You know me, I don't go into all the technical side of it, but there's been quite a few, you know, it's quite a big update really. One of the my, main things I think is interesting for me is you can do slow motion in 4K at 100 frames per second. So I think that's really good. Um, like I said, it's also, you, you can use these now with your um, Afata 2. Now, I'm gonna do another video with that later on, because at the moment, I was hoping to start this Friday with the reason why I bought this drone, but hey, <laughs> things don't always work out like that. So, first thing you've got to do, guys, is make sure that you've got the latest update on your Fly app, which is, let's get this right, which is 1.13.4. Now, now, at the moment, I haven't connected up the goggles yet, so what you do, you have it connected up, and we just turn on the goggles. Okay, so the you can see it now, the new GGI goggles free firmware is available so we install that he says all right update all devices okay so we've got to turn on all the devices so we turn on the drone and we turn on making sure that we double click so you hear that that little double peep, that means they're all linked together. Okay. Right, so I'm just gonna come out of that again. So we connect that, we do it again. Now this may take a while, but we'll obviously I'll speed up for you guys so you can see uh, you're not gonna be bored to your tears watching this load up. So as you can see there, the, okay, we've got another firmware update as well. So always best to wait a little bit. Okay, we're just doing that one as well. So we've got two updates. Okay, it's all coming to life now. Guys, this is why it's always good to make sure all your stuff is up, you know, all charged up, I'm talking about the batteries, your hand controller, the goggles. Now on my goggles, I've only got two lights left. I'm all right on the batteries, the hand controllers, I'll use any anything at the moment. Um, but God, it's taken, it's such a big, I've got on my screen here, nearly 55 minutes is taken. I mean, obviously we've had two updates. God, talk about nearly falling asleep. Okay, we're still, still not finished. The next couple of days, <laughs> well, yeah, the next couple of days I'll be out flying, flying the drone anyway and testing it to make sure there's no problems. Right, okay, so it, it's successful. So, let's have a look so we can see on the screen for the moment. Okay, everything's good there. Goggles, yeah, database, okay. I'll just check the dots. Um, let's just see, fly safe data. We'll just check for updates on that. Okay, we're all up to date on that. Right, what I will say guys, if you're having a problem, because that was a long, long update, you can also plug it into your computer and go and use your DJI Assist 2, making sure it's the consumer drone series, because if you don't just down if you just do the DJI Assist 2, it won't you won't get anywhere. But if you go into what I just said and go on to D, you know DJI and download that, some people say it's quicker. I I find the phones alright, but that was a big update, especially to to 
firmware updates on that, on the goggles and the drone. But anyway, so, well, like I said before, I'll be going out a couple of days' time. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Uh, and we'll check out the slow motion. That, that sounds good, especially in 4K. I'm really looking forward to that, especially along the sea. There'll be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.